remember the 74, 75 a basketball team that is one of the most storied in the history of Mary College. And Art, how, how's it feel to be back? But, you know, it's always great to what I would say coming home. Um, I get back with some regularity, not often enough, but you know, for some time, and it's good. It's a good feeling here, and obviously with the with the way the seasons have gone lately, it's, it's always exciting to be back here now. And uh, with that 74-75 season. Was it a surprise, or were you guys kind of feeling like we could do something special? I don't know that it was so much of a, of a surprise, but I think as oh, I was here for a few years, we kept getting better and better. We didn't know how close we were, but we had kind of a magical run, uh, stumbled early in the conference season, and then just did a good goal and just kept playing well. And then uh, with that season, what would you attribute to it? Uh, I think we had great chemistry. I think we had good talent, we were fairly deep, uh, and we had you know, good role players. We had players that could uh, play some multiple positions, and so we were entertained with two of the group. And uh, our defense, our rebounding was very good. Well, hey, Jamie and Alex, you just sing the national anthem. Is he a better singer or a better basketball player? Actually, he's pretty good at both, or was. I mean, neither of us are what we were on the court, but, uh, and we never knew he had that kind of talent. When we were in college, because we were actually sweet mates when we were here also. So, not only teammates, but sweet mates as well. And then, uh, for you, from that season or your time just here in Marietta, what is the one moment that really stands out for you? Uh, I, I don't know. I think, you know, the four years, you know, went so quickly. There was a lot of uh, highlights, a lot of great things, I think, that I experienced when I was here. Uh, and the 40 years since have also been very quick, and, for, and, it's, been, and it's been very good, so uh, I think it's all great, and it's been great. And as a member of a team that ran the table, you know, for the most part, and was one of the teams that everyone wanted to beat, what's your piece of advice for this year's team as they get going to continue their success? I, I think that it's, it comes down to a matter of how hard you work at it, because it is hard work. And it doesn't get any easier, and certainly the further you go, the more people are taking a shot at you. Yeah, but I, I think that this basis is probably a great life lesson. I mean, what you learn here on this court, what you learn here in the classroom, you'll carry over for a very, very long time. All right, well, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Right, my pleasure. Thank you. Next, we have Alex Pilatus. This is the only way I'm ever going to get in the Hall of Fame uh, stage up here. But I was fortunate to play with three gentlemen on that team who are currently in, in the Hall of Fame, and that was certainly an honor. So our coach couldn't be here. He's in Tucson, Arizona. He sent a letter. Larry's asked me to read, and then I get a couple of minutes, I guess, to talk about that year. I want to thank Coach Vanderwall and Larry Heiser for bringing back the 74-75 championship team as part of this year's winter weekend. Regretfully, Linda and I will not be able to participate in this wonderful reunion of some very special people. I want to congratulate the current Marietta men's team on their accomplishments to date. Gentlemen, you are on your way to unparalleled success, and you have captured many fans through your journey. The work ahead of you is much more difficult than that behind you. Remember that. I encourage you to stay the course in every fundamental detail. The reunion of our championship team reminds us all that Outstanding team success comes from outstanding individuals, people who understand trust, loyalty, a strong work ethic, and the ability to assume responsibility. As a coach, I could not be prouder of those characteristics which the men on that team had then and still do today. Sincerely, Coach Roach. I talked with Coach uh, Art and I uh, talked to him just a few minutes ago. And he congratulated uh, us and uh, encouraged us to have a good evening, and we certainly have had a great day today. So I got a couple of minutes and want to talk about that year, that spe very special year that I was a part of. And, um, you know, think about having three Hall of Fame players on one team is quite an accomplishment. And we started off as freshmen, 6 and 13. Art wasn't even around at that time. We had nine freshmen on the varsity team my freshman year, and we were just plain terrible. Next year, I think we were like 10 and 12. My junior year, we were 15 and 10. I don't know. So 
Uh, I did an interview with Gage here that's running the camera today, and he asked me a question. Do you see any similarities between this team and your team? And I have to say that I do. I looked at the stat lines. We didn't have any. We had great players, obviously Hall of Fame players, but we had no 20-point-a-game score. No one cared who scored. We had different guys lead the team in scoring, and I think this team does as well. Uh, they share the ball. They have fun when they're playing. They play hard. They play good defense. So I feel like that's some of the similarities that I saw in our team. We were a very close uh, group. We, we loved each other. There was no jealousy of who scored or who was the star, and we just uh, had a great year. We started off 7-0, and uh, you guys might appreciate this. We lost our first two OAC games after going 7-0. and So we're 0-2, and, and somehow uh, we managed to run 11 straight, never lost a game at home, and uh, ended up winning the Ohio Conference Championship. So I do have one quick story I'd love to share with you. I hope you appreciate this, um, especially the guys in a game today that was really close. And the other similarity is we won a lot of close games, and this team's certainly won a close one today, and, and, and in order to get to where they're, they're going to get to, I believe, they're going to have to win some more close games. Um, we had just beat Capital in an overtime game, and we had um, Oberlin College, which had some terrific players. They came into Marietta and basically had us beat. But the cute part of that story is when I, I was co-captain and I walked out to meet the referees, and the referee leaned over and whispered in my ear, he said, I saw your high school coach last night. He said to say hello to you. And I thought, well, this might be good. This might be a good thing. So we played a hard-fought game, and we were down, and they stole the ball with about 10 seconds left, and they had a real hot dog player on that team. It was real cocky. Instead of just running the clock out like the Marietta guard did today and pulled the ball back, he decided he'd go to the basket, try to win the game, and just kind of stick one in us. Well, big Jeff Faloba goes up and swats it against the backboard. It bounces off. The rebound comes out. I'm at half court. I catch the ball with two seconds. I turn around, take a dribble, shoot. The buzzer goes off. I never remember getting fouled, but I remember hearing a whistle and turning around and looking at that referee that knew my high school coach, and he went. <laughs> so they... After about a five-minute conference, they put one second back on the clock, and we were down by one. And I go to the line with a one and one. And fortunately, I was able to make both free throws, but I, I just thought that was a cute story. That, and my high school coach was a great Hall of Fame coach, and uh, I thank him for uh, uh, having the respect of that referee. So I think I really did get fouled, though. Anyway, uh, thanks so much to the committee for recognizing our team. Um, unfortunately, some of my teammates couldn't be here today, and, uh, you know, we wish they could be. And, and um, I wish the team continued success this year, and we look forward to an Ohio Conference championship and a long, deep run, maybe all the way, in the NCAA tournament. Thank you. We also have Alan White, native of Grove City, Ohio. He graduated from Grove City High School with a master. I'm here courtside with another member of the 74-75 team, Alan White. Now, Alan, how's it going to be back in Marietta? It's always a pleasure to be back here, especially when you got a team sitting in the nation, 16 0. Uh, it's been a great season. Now, do you see any similarities between your team, 74-75, and this team this year? Well, this is the first opportunity I've had to see them, so I have to hold judgment on that one. And, uh, Season 74-75, what's the one moment that stands out for you that really made that season? Actually clinching it at the Baldwin Wallace when we clinched the championship, we were on a way, a way trip. And, and then the celebration in the locker room after that. Actually, my son somehow found a picture of that on the internet yesterday. And uh, it's, I think it's in the program also. And then uh, the final question, what is your piece of advice for this team as they attempt to go undefeated and you know, run the table in conference. Just keep doing what they're doing. They're working hard. They're making every possession count. That's what they got to do. Uh, I appreciate your time. Thank you. This is the 40th anniversary of the 1974-75 men's basketball team that does have a banner hanging on the south end wall. Under the direction of OAC Coach of the Year, Phil Roach, the five years posted a 19-4 overall record and went 11-2 in the OAC, winning the regular season championship. The 74-75 team 
And 